Marble, noble and precious, has always represented the excellence of Italy around the world. The marble market guarantees the survival of hundreds of companies, along with the economic well-being of the men and women involved in its day-to-day -day processing. Yet the marble business is a very dangerous profession. It's coming down! Working with stone means confronting the risk and fatigue of an extreme environment like the quarry. Here we've got to use force, all at once, no giving up. Success is achieved by overcoming the difficulties and challenges of an increasingly competitive sector. It's no job for the faint-hearted. To be cut out for it, they must be men of stone. In the marble basins of Vasilia, a new day of sweat, hard work and commitment is about to begin for the stonemen. Mario at the Piastroni quarry is still on the hunt for a block of pure white marble for the design project of a famous architect. However, due to safety issues, he has had to stop work. There are these three flakes. Before he can start over, I'll call immediately to ease my mind. They need the trundlers, the quarry wall safety specialists. At the Gioa quarry, the sudden request for 5,000 more meters of marble has caught the Antonioli brothers off guard. It's work. Used to meticulously planning their work. There it is, it's ready. They must now find a way to extract what's required within a tight deadline. This is a big problem. But the most important game is being played at the base, where the first inspection of finished pieces is scheduled with the inspector for the 555 order. So how's it going up there? This is the largest and most important project for Paolo Carli's company. Today's the first inspection for 555. We're already tense. The quality is above the range. Perhaps we're spoiling them a little too much. The point is we don't have much material. Let's try optimizing as much as possible. Is Barbara at the machine? Yes. So let's go take a look. The contract involves supplying the cladding for a new building in New York. Maybe let's keep these scraps, this one, this one, so if we can recover some pieces, we'll put them on a separate platform. Managing the cutting of this project isn't easy given the size of the pieces, because you have to keep the quality level of the material very high, and you also have to try not to waste too much of it. The finished pieces are made with statuary from the Russia quarry and Vasilis from the Bresci quarry. The floor continues here. Paolo. This afternoon there's... I know, Paolo. We'll present three bathrooms today. The quality is excellent. Out of five? Yes, the quality is excellent, but... Certainly they'll make a fuss, but we're giving them a quality that's... Excellent. Better than the range. Call me if there's something to discuss. Okay. In that case, I'll come too. You know you can always count on me. But while the Russia quarry, thanks to the use of a special resin, has finally managed to provide enough marble for production at the base, Carver Bresci is far behind. Despite the effort and attention Luca, Barbara and Michaela put into their work, finding the necessary quantities of Vasilis is becoming more and more problematic, and now time is running out. Let's go take a look. Stop it. What was making that noise? It's taking water, but it's powder. Do you see inside the cut here? That strike he gave it before was here. 
The wire is pretty hot. Yes, but it drips. Let's get the water a little closer. Let's get more water here. What a job. Shall we speed it up? We're really behind. But the extraction of this block appears to be very complicated from the start. How's the situation? I'm a little worried about this block here. I looked at it from above and below and that's a problem. I don't like it. What do we do then? That has to be fixed, because as soon as the wire passes and exceeds that defect, I'm 90% sure it'll fall. And if it doesn't fall by itself, we'll have to make it fall by hitting it with the excavator. Yes. We have to be careful and make the kiss well. Make the bed big. Put the machine above this time. Perfect. When you're ready to do the job, close the road and secure everything first. Perfect. The block has a deep defect that threatens its integrity and makes its overturning unpredictable. At the Russia quarry, since the block-saving resin technicians have asked for more time to improve the formula, Enrico can return to using traditional methods. Michele, do you copy? Go ahead, Tognacci. I have a doubt and I wanted your opinion. I'm undecided about which part to overturn first, since one part is a little more broken and on one side there's more material. Do you remember the defects there? So you can give me a hand. I'm busy up here and I can't help you. You have to start solving these things by yourself. You've already done the analysis. Make your own decision. You're the boss down there. Solve your own problems. I can't help you. If I'm here, I can't be there. OK, you're right. I'll do it my own way. Do it your own way and rest assured, you won't do anything wrong. Silvio, let's turn the machine around and overturn this one first. At some point you have to be independent. While Enrico assumes his responsibilities below, at the Bresci quarry, all the necessary safety measures are put into place in anticipation of the block falling outside the quarry area. Come on. Come on. Come towards me. Raise and open it. Go. Go. Lock this. A bed of debris is laid out where the block is expected to fall in order to cushion the impact and avoid damaging the road. At the Piastroni quarry, the trundlers prepare to descend from above to secure the walls of the quarry. I told them to use a rivet. The rivet is used to stop a portion of rock from coming off. Be sure to do a good job. Before reaching the point where they will insert the riveting, the technicians proceed to analyze the quarry face by removing any stones or dangerous parts. I wouldn't do that job even though I used to climb. They're overhangs from 50 years ago and the winters affect them. It's always a bit of a risk. They never know what they're going to find. Good morning, Mario. Watch out below because something might fall. Then let's move over here, towards the excavator. 
Take a look at the nets too. Make sure everything is in place. If there's a rock to remove, remove it. Okay. Who put this net here? This patch here is open, then the defect comes towards the steps. You think it would be good there in front of you? If we have to, we do it here, in the middle and possibly also to the right. Okay. There were some rocks in the net, but they were removed. I tell him my concerns from the quarry yard and he describes the situation to me from up close. At the Gioa quarry, in order to respect the deadline, Luca! Cesare decides to take a gamble. The order is a mess. We can't finish it with the other block. We have to use this one here. How are we going to do that? I don't know. Paolo will get it accepted with his cleverness. I don't know what to say. It has to be done. He's coming tomorrow to check it. What should I show him? We have to show him this one. How long do we have? It'll take about three hours between cutting with the machine and cutting in the back with the wire. Even if we have to do a second shift, we have to do it. We have to convince him. Marcello, we have to hurry. The customer arrives tomorrow and we have to show it to him. Instead of cutting the block selected by Carly, the processing of which appears to be very complex, the old marble fox wants to insert another block into the project, which is much easier to extract. The processing of this new marble face is also made faster by the use of a chainsaw mounted on a mobile frame that avoids moving the machine at the end of each cut. Go! Try a little! Go! Go! As soon as the machine makes a horizontal cut, the upper part is lowered, the chain is turned and then placed in the vertical cut for the last part. At the Bresci quarry, after carrying out all the safety protocols, they proceed to cut the back of the block. Just where the fracture undermines the stability of the marble. As expected by Michaela, as soon as the block is separated from the mountain, a large part collapses. Something always happens. Nothing ever goes well. Not once can we say, what a nice day, I'll go to the beach, calm and relaxed. We always have to be stressed. The fall creates a strong kickback on the diamond wire, which ends up damaging the cutting machine as well. What have you done? The welding of the wheel has come off. Only the pins left. You have the wheel. Run it without it. How do I do that? Is the machine already on? Yes. Did the wire break it? The pulley broke. This one on the pole. This here. The pulley broke. The one where it turns. Get the eight from the workshop. Go see what it needs. Take whatever's not there. 
With work blocked by the accident, will Luca be able to finish the cut in time for the overturn? In the new pavilion cut by Carly to house inspection of finished pieces, the first quality control check of the cladding for building 555 in New York is about to begin. For this first display, the clients have sent Andrea, a young but no less fussy inspector. Good morning. Good morning, Barbara. How are you? Good. I'll give you an overview. Yes, I'll take a stroll. And then we'll go into detail. I'd say this is it. This is the quality, but we were supposed to show him five and there are three. Let's start from here. What are you doing, Andre? I'm marking this one. Can you see how grey it is? How the grey stands out from the white? Look at the contrast. It's clear that there's a change in tone in the panel. It's no good. This one is too grey compared to the others as well. The niche there has another background. If you have other slabs to cut out for this piece here, and we're able to remove this more pronounced corner here, maybe... You're saying to turn this piece? Let's turn this one and try to recut this one here, to save the elevation. So it matches with the third. So, Andrea, are you satisfied from a qualitative point of view? Qualitatively, we're good. The material is beautiful. Where are the other two bathrooms displayed? The other two bathrooms aren't ready because we have... How are they not ready? We've had difficulties in the quarry. The quality we're using is really high. Yes, but we're supposed to have five bathrooms displayed in a week. I know, but to maintain this quality, we had to cut fewer bathrooms, we had more waste and... We'll certainly catch up. Are they already cut? No, we still need the material. Then how will we catch up? Two bathrooms less is a lot. How can we make it up in a week? Hi, Paolo. Good morning, Paolo. What's going on? We have problems with quantity. We are way behind schedule. We're missing two bathrooms, two units. Andrea, we can't do better now. Agreements have been made with the client. I understand the difficulty of the material and the dimensions, but... But we're using a range of superior quality than what was approved. The customer doesn't care. They don't understand quarries and materials much. It doesn't matter. Making quality and timing coincide with this quality is difficult for me. But they don't care about such things. We'll catch up. In a month, they have to install five bathrooms, and instead there are three. I understand, but the project is no way. But if we're late now at the beginning of the project, I can't imagine how many delays will accumulate in a couple of months. Don't worry about that, because I'm up in the quarry now, and I'm following the production with the guys. So what we lost today will make up for next time, along with what you have to deliver. You have to make sure things don't explode. Then I'll make a phone call to the client to let them know there's been a difficult moment, but to keep calm because the deadline won't be compromised and I'll remove any problems for you too. There are peaks of waste ranging from 60 to 80 percent, guys. That's a lot. Then I'll step back, Paolo. I understand your role, but I'll take this responsibility myself. I'll speak with the client and I'll explain a bit of the delay this way. What does that axe mean? It's the grey corner. You see how it doesn't work? I won't accept this here. We'll fight about it, but I have to take it off. Try to turn them both and... You can put it where some plasterboard decorations will go and hide it a bit. Okay, let's do that. Despite the high quality of the pieces presented, 
The lack of two entire bathrooms has resulted in the partial failure of the inspection. And though Paolo has managed to obtain an extension, further errors and delays could inevitably lead to the loss of the project. Meanwhile, at the Russia quarry, Enrico has begun cutting the block. Enrico, ascolta. Enrico, listen, as soon as you finish, come up. I have to show you something. What's the problem? The problem is that that defect there removed the wire when we sort off the top. And it's a half curve. I'm afraid it will give us problems. Due to a defect, the diamond wire was unable to complete the cut orthogonally and there is now a risk that the block will get stuck before hitting the ground. Let's see how things go, and then we'll act accordingly. Keep an eye on the work there, and let's hope it goes well. At the Piastroni quarry, the trundlers are trying to complete consolidation of the quarry face as quickly as they can, so Mario can resume his work. Go! Did you get everything? Yes. Bye. Okay, then reattach it up above. You've got quite a mind. I also forget stuff. Go ahead. What happened to Daniele? We forgot the material. She came to bring it to us and I'll finish the hole with her. In fact, I saw you come out of the tunnel and it looked like Daniela's hair had grown from the stress of the job. Normally you lose hair, but making it longer is impressive. If she were my wife, I'd never take her up there. Switch it on. Shall I turn on the air? Yes, the one there goes inside now. Extend it a little. I got stuck. This drill gun works with two bolts that clamp the bar to lock it in place. One of the two bolts has popped out. The good thing is that almost the entire bar has entered. Despite some unforeseen issues, the trundlers have managed to finish securing the quarry. You sent me the drill gun and it broke while I put the bolt in. You broke it, it didn't break itself. Shut up. You're no good. The bolt is what you see there, then we'll do a last check. We'll clean up here and we're done. And then you're good. I'm good until winter. Yes, you'll get by this summer. I used to go climbing too when I was younger. If you used to go climbing, let's go together. We can do an easy mountain. Not that high. An easy route. That's doable. Come on, let's go. Don't turn me down. No, I'll come, I'll come, but remember, a nice sturdy hunt. Now Mario can resume his search for a block of white marble in order to complete the pair of chaise longes commissioned by Letizia. At the Bresci quarry, Luca has managed to repair the diamond wire machine and has completed cutting the block. After a difficult inspection, Barbara has come to the quarry to ensure that the Vasilis supply won't face new difficulties.
The overturning is very complicated and requires everyone's attention because the block must be extracted in pieces, opening it along its defects. Paolo, if it stays up, it's a miracle. In my opinion, it'll fall on its own. Hopefully some good material will come down. But I'd be thinking about a plan B. Before we start licking our wounds, let's see. Let's see. Then after, you can make an evaluation and see how it is. Luca, watch out for that floor that has skewered the other, because it could slip and go below. Luca is below giving me a hand, and I'm overseeing operations above with Paolo on the excavator. We have to be careful on a few steps, and I prefer to be here too. Not to take anything away from Luca, but another set of eyes is always useful in these cases. Paolo, try the top part there. Try there. That one there is the first to go. Go! Go! It's coming down. Nothing. There's a little piece, but it's too small for the job. Let's try to pull down the other piece as well. Okay. Ricardo and Luca, be careful. Here we're talking about centimeters to be able to do the job. Let's go slowly and try to save as much as possible. The first piece has come down and there seems to be nothing according to Mikil. In my opinion, if you give it a tap, the other one will come down too. I think so too. It's better to keep it down like this. Close slightly. Close! Close without touching it. Like that? Try pushing forward now. Go down and then come forward. Go! Come forward. Come and you'll knock it down. Come! It's gone. For the quality, she wasn't mistaken. I honestly thought the floors on the back would move away. To have a little more space. But like this? Let's go down and see. I know you're anxious and so am I, but let's be patient. We have to finish the operation, remove the dangerous parts, the blocks are put on the ground so the evaluation can be done all at once. Okay, be patient. If you smoke, have a cigarette. The block is so fractured, it continues to pose safety concerns. Before the material can be analyzed closely, it must be extracted completely. At the Geo Quarry, while cutting on the block moves forward, the chainsaw begins to produce an enormous cloud of dust. Luca! There are three of you. Everything is flooded there. Everything flooded? Yes, we can't get past. We have to figure out how to do it. So let's stop the machine. No, we can't stop the machine. Call Pablo and have him fix the pump. We have to keep moving forward. We'll work dry, I'm going to tell the guys. Call Pablo. The pump broke, but we're still working dry. Dry? Hello, Pablo. Can you hear me? The pump broke. It's a mess. Come right away. With the deadline ever closer, will the Antonioli brothers be able to repair the damage in time? At the Bresci quarry, they are proceeding to overturn a portion of the block so fractured it's impossible to direct its fall. 
Take a look at that defect that seems to be causing problems. Take a look at the other one because nothing's come off from here. They'll both come down together. I'm not happy with what's happening because it's got an overhang and it's creating problems. That part is still attached there. I don't want it all to come off together and end up on the road. Let's hope we can resolve it. In any case, we can go over there and hit it with the excavator in the upper part. To keep it falling on the road below, it's all together, Luca. When it hits the ground, it'll break apart and end up on the road. Luca and Michaela get the pump, decide to force it open along one of its defects. Drop it down a little. Now tighten a little. Tighten. Michele, it breaks into pieces at the top. Towards, you say? A little more OK there. Shall we try to get it a little further down, Luca? Lower, no. The defect is there. It'll open and that upper part will fall. There's a defect there going towards the bucket. There, go. OK. Now take that there and... Bump. The manoeuvre is successful and a part of the block ends up in the yard while the last portion remains attached to the mountain and must be overturned. As I said before, after I want to go down and see the material, I want to see if we can bring something home. As soon as we finish, we'll go down and take a look and see whether we have something. At the Russia quarry, the block has been entirely cut, but due to a defect, there's a risk it could eventually fracture. This part here will help us. Let's hope this part here will help us with that part over there. That defect broke the wire and gave us this problem. OK. We saw there was a defect. Let's hope it won't give us any problems. We'll try to do everything possible to overturn it in one piece. But I don't know if it'll be easy. Set up the machine, clear everything, and let's overturn it. Shall we stop pumping? No, it's late. Forget it. Stop everything. Here we've got to use force. Exactly. Bound by the delivery deadline, Enrico must give the order to overturn anyway. Start with those two rocks there, like that, like that, slowly, like that, go, go, now let it go slowly, come on, come on, turn a little, go, go, like that, go, It came apart. There was the defect. Pull the tracks forward and hit and overturn it. Don't stop. Full speed ahead. Even though it's a good sized block, it's up to Barbara to say with certainty whether it contains the quality of marble requested by the order.
I'm angry because I thought it would all come down. That defect is really... Yes, but at first glance... There's hope. Otherwise, Barbara will come with a whole board of directors and it'll be a mess. With the young project manager busy at the Brescia quarry... Guys, close everything down and let's go. It went well today. There's nothing left for the guys to do but return home. At the Geo Quarry, everyone is working to replace the hydraulic pump as fast as possible. Finally! In order to eliminate the water now filling the quarry. Cesare is lucky that his chainsaw model is able to continue working even without water. The quarry was full of water because it's hermetic. We try not to lose water or mud. So there's a point where all the water and the marble mud is conveyed and taken up to the compactor. Now we'll pull it up. Shall I pull it up? Pablo. Hi, Cesare. How are we doing? It'll take half an hour, Cesare, to take this thing down. All our work is connected to this thing here. I saw that. I'll let you finish the job. The sooner you can do it, the better. Thanks. We lost some time, but I think I can deliver the product to Carly. Bring it closer to attach it to the freight elevator. Turn around. Come down and take the cable. As soon as things were safe, we immediately restarted the machine at maximum speed to finish the job. With the flow of water finally restored, the Antonioli brothers set out to complete this order on schedule as well. At the Bresci quarry, tension over the complex overturn has begun to build up. The stakes are high and nobody wants to make a mistake. Ricardo, the work must be done well. Come over here with the tracks and pull it towards you with the arm. Otherwise you can't do anything. Come forward with the arm. Come forward again. Rest it on the block. Come forward. A little more. Try now. If you want to do the manoeuvre, just tell me and I'll do another job. Otherwise, leave it to me. Calm down. You can't talk to me like that. Take it easy. I am calm. What's left to do? We have to pull it. Go back. Go back. OK. Thanks to the coordinated work of Luca and his team, the last portion of the block reaches the ground safely as well. What needed to be done has been done. The pieces are intact and large, but the material at first glance seems like it's not there. Let's go down and have a look. Let's hope there'll be some good material. Despite their large size, upon careful analysis, none of the quarried blocks contain the Vasilis desired. Guys, what should we do? The saints can't do what God doesn't will. Making Barbara happy isn't easy. It's not her fault. You know how it works up there. Yes, I won't blame her. I can't blame myself either. I did my part. I went where you told me I did everything. But I can't change the color of the material. But how do we do it? I need the material. I don't know what to do anymore. We have to return to the Cattino quarry. Trust me, the Cattino quarry. Oh. But how can you know? 
Je jenu ty, ty žili ole, ale my žili na kamie. Oh. It's useless for you to get angry. I'm angry too. Don't even make me think about it. If they don't want to lose the opportunity to complete the 555 order in time, a radical solution is needed. At the Piastroni quarry, Mario is back at work to extract a block of white marble for the pair of chaise longes commissioned by Letizia. I caught a glimpse of it and I hope there's some white in the back. I put a piece of iron planted inside it on its head and with this steel cable I'll pull it back with the excavator. It's the last chance I have to find the piece for Letizia in this area. Pull, pull, pull! It didn't break. There's a piece as white as milk. Once it came down, I went all the way around the block. I looked at it closely and noticed that the quality and dimensions appeared to be right. The newly extracted block is of the required material and dimensions, so Mario can finally breathe a sigh of relief. Give me a push. Push, push. But will Letizia have finished with her requests? Today's events have put the stone men in great difficulty. From the display of finished pieces gone wrong to the lack of Vasilis at the Bresci quarry, success in satisfying the 555 order seems further and further away. To avoid a terrible failure, the time has come for everyone to make bold choices and to take on further risks. You know the Catino quarry is a no. If you're satisfied with little chocolates and candies? What, chocolates? You know the situation. You can't go right now. That's why I'm talking about it with you. I know, but the problem is... Explain it to me. What are the problems in the quarry there? I can't make that decision after I've been told to stop there. I can't take the initiative and go down there. But there isn't... Luca knows his things, I know mine. If it's a problem of having the company's permission, I'll take care of it. If we go down there, I'll take all the responsibility. First, she has to take the responsibility. Then, later, you'll have to finish doing all the maintenance that needs to be done. Because you can't just go there and get to work immediately. I know, but I'm saying up here we're pulling out little chocolates, down there is the cake. Try to convince whoever you have to convince, because in my opinion, if we go down there, I'm not saying immediately, but we'll save the season. You have to guarantee it, Luca. You do what you have to and you'll see that I'll find something for you. I'll talk to the base and get you permission to carry on there. You'll take care of it. I'll take care of it, but Luca... I'll take care of it. You sent me down there and I'll take care of it. Luca and Barbara are willing to go against the company's decisions. It's a difficult decision leading them to take on enormous responsibility. Fortunately, Luca has a foolproof way of distracting himself from worries at work. Is anyone home? 
Are you home already? What should I do this evening? Everything. You didn't do anything this morning. I knew it. The horse needs hay. Then you need to go to the field up there. Auntie says the feed should be put out. Look, I just finished. OK, but it gets dark at 9.30. Where shall I start? Wherever you want, I'll follow you. Are the rabbits OK? No, we have to do everything. I told you. I knew it'd end up like this. Go, go. Ares, leave him alone. Ares! Come here. Come here. Ares. Send him out. Go, Silvano, send him out. Even when you eat, he won't leave you alone. The elderly should be left alone. I always say that. They call it work, but this is a passion. It's a vice that we have. You're really boring. Stay still or you'll hurt yourself. Stay still. You have your hay. You're good for tonight. Let's go. Aris, leave the pigs alone. Zigo, let's go, Zigo. One March and the other January, these don't have names. I'm not attached to them. Because they're animals, like that I keep for breed, to feed the family. They all have to get as big as me. I'm going to see if the Hannah's laid eggs. Maybe tonight we'll make an onion frittata. After a day spent arguing with human beings whose heads are harder than marble. Okay, come on. I gave the chickens a lot. Now let's go look at the rabbits. There's no better way to relax than being with the animals at home. Listen here, we have three or four, maybe even five. Good, give me four or five. We don't sell anything on the farm. It's all for family use. Get busy, we're hungry here. And even if the task is tiring, at least with them, Luca can enjoy some well-deserved peace and quiet. In the next episode of Stone Men, Luca must hurry to begin work at the Catino Quarry. Enrico and Michaela must deal with the block-saving resin technicians. Mario makes a visit to the base, while the Antonioli brothers discover the consequences of their gamble.